Can you please describe the events that unfolded today at recess? It was just like any other day. I was feeling stressed because we got a tournament for geography. Objection! Sustain. Please keep it relevant. So me and Fred were in a big rally. which normally means a retake. Fred, at this point, you have the option of either affirming or terminating the contract. I refuse to play if you don't take her out. Wait, what contract? Bugsy, when you play on these courts, you'll follow this document stating you'll play fair and you'll take her out. But the sign was so small. But boo -hoo. No need for theatrics. Fred, why did you not allow for a retake? It has long been accepted taking it out is a key component of any agreement to play handball. Jim, what are you doing? I'm live tweeting the court case. Bailiff, get him out! Yes, miss! <laughs> you can't silence the people! Judge 2 will now take over. Your Honour, not only did I lose my recess and lunch, also my grades have started to slip. When Bugsy refused to take his out, he jeopardized the integrity of the entire game. It wasn't my fault you repudiated the contract. What? Fred, in handball, the ability to call interference and demand in retake in reasonable circumstances is an implied term. It means the rule exists without it being stated or written down, as opposed to an express term. Please try and keep up. But no one in the contract doesn't even mention interference. The contract was repudiated because you refused to perform the obligation. Drawing on evidence from Jack's iPhone, Bugsy was in his right to call interference. <laughs> Fred, you are hereby guilty of breaching the contract. I order you to pay Bugsy damages of one chocolate bar, one pineapple fruit popper, and three frontages. But sir, this is not even a proper court. <gasps> He's going to plead insanity. Fred, don't even think about it. The decision remains.